Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and on today's Child Seat Review segment, we're taking a look at the 2014 Honda Civic Sedan. Now, the Honda Civic has been refreshed yet again for the 2014 model year, so if you want to know more about the 2014 refresh of the Honda Civic, then go ahead and click that banner at the bottom of your screen. As usual, this is a Grocco Classic Ride 50 convertible child seat, and we're going to stuff one, two, and three of them into the Honda Civic. We'll see how well they interact with the car, as well as passengers in the back seat. Honda has long had a reputation for being a family-friendly company, and it's obvious when you take a look at the side profile on their sedans. Both the Civic and the Accord have fairly low belt lines, and that's the distance from the ground to the bottom of the window, and a fairly tall greenhouse, which is the amount of glass you see on the side of the car. The other thing you'll notice is that the glass goes quite far back here. We actually have a door that has this little kink right here in the back, and that's a design choice as well as enabling the rear passengers to see out of the back a little bit more easily. You'll find that both in the Civic as well as the Accord. Because the Civic is smaller than the Accord, we do still have a fairly short trunk back here and a fairly sloping rear glass. However, you'll still find a little bit more headroom and a little bit more usable room in the back than some of the competition. Another thing to keep in mind is that because of Honda's passenger-centric approach, we also have a rear bench seat that's a little bit more upright than you'll find in the more coupe-like shaped sedans. The design choice means that it's a little bit easier to get things in and out of the Civic. Because this is still a sedan, we do still have to duck just a little bit to insert or remove child seats, but you'll notice that the door opening is fairly large. It's fairly easy to get things in and out of the back. A handy trick to know is that in general, the more rear seat legroom you have, the easier it will be to accommodate rear-facing child seats. The Civic scores on the upper end of this segment in terms of rear seat legroom. So you'll find a little bit more legroom in the back in the Sentra as well as the Corolla. And you'll find a little bit less in the Focus and the Elantra. There are a lot of options in this compact stand segment. So if you're trying to compare the Civic to something else in this segment and you're shopping for something to accommodate rear facing child seats, then be sure and compare that rear seat legroom number. It will give you a general idea of how these seats will fit in the car. Over on the driver's side, that seat is adjusted for me at six feet tall. I have about three inches of room between the rear facing child seat and the front front seat, which is an acceptable distance. Over here, things are a little bit tighter. The seat is all the way back in its track, and it's only about an inch or so between this front seat and the child seat. It's a little bit close. I'd prefer about two inches or so between those seats, but this is a little bit more room than you'll find in the average entry in this compact stand segment. In order for these Gronko Classic Ride seats to sit properly in the Civic, I did have to remove the headrests in both the outboard and the center position in the Civic. However, removing the headrests is very easy in this car. An awful lot easier than the average entry in this segment. One thing that I've commented on before with these Grocco Classic Ride child seats is the size of this top tether anchor buckle. You'll notice that this is the part that actually latches onto the top tether right here, and this is the end of the buckle arrangement, and it is a fairly long buckle. That means that in a car like the Civic, it's difficult to get this top tether anchor, which is not attached, but now I'll attach it right here. It's difficult to get it attached to the car and have a limited and acceptable amount of travel with the child seat. Most child seat manufacturers tell me that there should be less than one inch of travel forwards and backwards in the seat with a properly attached top tether anchor. It's a little bit tricky with this Grocco Classic Rise seat in the Honda Civic. This buckle right here could be cinched down a little bit more, but it's really tricky to do. You can't do that by just pulling on the top tether uh, leash right there, I guess you'd call that. It's something that is a little bit difficult just because of the design of the top tether anchor in this Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat. So if you're looking at the Honda Civic or cars that have a relatively close top tether anchor like the Civic, you may want to be sure that you get a child seat that has a much shorter buckle arrangement on the back. Even though it is possible to get this child seat much tighter on the Civic, it's a real pain in the butt, and that means that it would be a lot more difficult to insert and remove the child seat if you had to. So say if you were dropping your kids off somewhere and then you had a work meeting and you needed this back seat and you were going to remove the child seat and then reinstall it later in the vehicle, it's going to be an awful lot more of a pain in a car like the Civic and this Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat just because of that top tether anchor. So you may want to look at a child seat with a smaller anchor in the back. Another handy trick to know when comparing cars against one another just based on the specs is the shoulder room and the hip room in the back. Shoulder room would be measured right up around here and hip room would be measured right down here at the bottom of the bench seat. The Civic has more hip room than most entries in the compact stand segment. However, in terms of shoulder room, it's about average. When you take a look at these large convertible child seats that we have here, you can see that they're definitely wide at the top. So both numbers are important across the back. Even though we have a lot of hip room in the Honda Civic, we're going to have about the same amount of room overall as you'll find in the average entry in this segment. So you won't get any additional room in the Honda Civic, except when it comes time to inserting an adult in the back with these two child seats. So if I sit up in this seat, I have a decent amount of hip room down here. So that means it's a lot easier for me to insert my belt buckle. So if I were to actually strap myself in in the car, it's going to be a lot easier in the Civic than the average entry in the segment, but I'm not going to have a whole lot of room up top. So 
it's gonna be easier for me to find this seat belt buckle there as you can see right there but if i try and sit back in the seat I'm definitely squished my shoulder is definitely digging into this seat and digging into the door you have to sit at kind of an angle in order to be back here with two child seats the civic score is slightly above average in this three across configuration there are wider compact sedans out there however if you find yourself needing to do three seats across the back of a compact sedan you really want to look at narrower child seats in these Graco classic ride 50 child seats the better alternative, however, would be to step up to a mid-size sedan, something like a Honda Accord, because the Honda Accord scores very well in the three across configuration. The Civic provides latched child seat anchors on the outboard seating positions only. Remember to refer to your vehicle's instruction manual as well as the child seat instruction manual before you attempt to use a latch anchor for an inboard child seat. Some vehicles do allow that, but the child seat and the vehicle both have to agree on whether that's possible or not. These child seat anchors are very easy to use and they're also not easily felt by someone in the seat because there's a decent amount of padding, although it is very easy to find them in there, both for insertion and removal. At 12.5 cubic feet of storage space right here in the trunk, the Civic can easily accommodate three child seats. This is about average for the compact sedan segment. If you need more room, then something like a Nissan Sentra is going to be for you. And here's the reason why. Because in a Nissan Sentra, I could actually line up a series of these 24 inch roller bags right like this. This is the largest roller bag you can carry in a domestic flight. And I could actually close the trunk lid on them. That's really a difference between the Sentra and every other entry in this segment. However, even at 12.5 cubic feet, you can put one and possibly two of these large roller bags in the back of the Honda Civic. You can easily put one here, maybe even something larger, and you could probably put one right there in the trunk of the Honda Civic as well. The Honda Civic does have folding rear seat backs, but they only open from the trunk rather than inside the car. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2014 Honda Civic sedan. Go ahead and click that link at the bottom of your screen so you can subscribe to my channel and be updated on all of the latest videos. If you want to know more about the 2014 Honda Civic, then you'll find a link at the end of this video. It should be active in about a day or so to take you on over to the full review of the 2014 Honda Civic sedan. Go ahead and like this video and comment on this video. Tell me what you liked and didn't like about the 2014 Honda Civic. You can also find me at facebook.com slash alexonautos. And if you have any questions, you can always email me at alex at alexonautos.com, and we'll see you next week.